Okay, in this session we are going to learn about the entity relationship model. Okay, entity relationship model. We talked about data models, right? Where we realize that a data model is a set of conceptual tools that helps me to define the schema. It helps me to specify the schema in such a way that a layman can understand it. So entity relationship is a type of a data model. Okay. So let's see how does a entity relationship model maps a real world into the database. Let's first understand what an entity is. An entity is any real world object or thing, any real world thing that can be distinguished from other things, okay? So there should be some mechanism through which you can identify that thing that can be distinguished. So, let's see some examples of an entity. A person, okay, say Alex, that's an entity. A cat, say Tom, that's an entity, okay. A car, say Toyota Prius, that's an entity. So anything can be an entity if it can be distinguished, okay? An entity has an entity type. An entity type is basically a specification of that entity. It determines what are the characteristics of that entity, okay? The other thing that we have to understand here is an entity has different characteristics, right? And these characteristics are called the attributes of the entity. Attributes are characteristics. Okay. So, Let's say we're talking about a person entity. So person would have some characteristics, right? He would have a name. He would have a date of birth. He would have an address. He would probably have a phone number. He would probably have a profession okay so these are the characteristics of person in entity relationship model we call them the attributes so let's see how we represent a entity and its attributes on an entity relationship model. A entity is represented as an oval. Okay. Oops, my bad. Entity is represented by a rectangle, not an oval. Okay. So this is the representation of an entity and we write the name of the entity inside it. So if I have to represent persons, the set of all the persons, I'll write it like this in an entity relationship diagram. Okay. Let's introduce a new term here. We talked about what entity type is, right? Did we do that? 
yeah we talked about entity has an entity type which is the specification of that entity let's talk about entity set entity set is the collection of all entities having same entity type right same entity type so that would probably mean if we are talking about the entity type person then the entity set of person would be the set of all the persons that have a name a date of birth an address a phone number and a profession okay you can think of it like this entity type is a class and entity set is all the objects that have been created of this class okay so we were talking about the representation of entity so this is the representation of entity now let's look at how do we represent attributes an attribute is represented via oval okay so when i say name is an attribute i can represent it like this when i say phone number is an attribute i can represent it like this so we talked about that an entity has attributes so how do we relate these attributes to the entity that can be done by connecting the attribute to the entity so we represent this entity like this we have a name we have a phone number we have an address we have a profession and what else do we have we have a date of birth so in this way i can represent the attributes of an entity okay